Hey guys, Luke here. Hopefully I timed it all well. So uh, this is episode 6, round 6, whatever. I think I got the rounds wrong last episode, but not to worry. Let's get straight into the game. Herit it must be a heritage round. I uh, better check the team line first. Don't want to make the mistake I made a few weeks ago. How is Josh Morris in such bad form? I'll never know, to be honest. Oh, I really wish Lloyd Pratt was going on here. The depth, we've got pretty good depth here. Won't be using it, but I don't, I don't even know if injuries are on in tournament or competition mode is the right word I'm looking for. Competition. Now, I was, I've was i been thinking, what can I talk about? And I had something in mind, and now I forgot, because I came up with it, like, I was thinking about other stuff. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what I'll talk about here. I might not even talk about anything, to be honest. Maybe I might talk about not talking about stuff. So, uh, I don't really care who's in the manly side. It'd just be the same as real life, pretty much. So, yep, it is a heritage round. So, I guess, what I'll talk about now... Oh, here we go. Well, first off, I want to talk about not losing. We don't want to lose again. Cut to Lafayette. Wow, I can't believe this step actually worked. I was supposed to just do it so, um... I could just create a little bit of space for Stanley. Oh shit. Um, yeah, so what I'll talk about is, um, it's just with um, the live comms and stuff, I've done so many of them that it's it's hard to talk about topics, if that makes sense. Like, I've pretty much covered, all, I've covered so much stuff, I think. I mean, I've probably covered a bunch, a whole lot of nothing, really. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about anything that I've talked about in the past and it's hard to remember what I've talked about and what I haven't um, because the the first one I did was like 2013 somewhere in 2013 I think and it's now like over halfway through 2014 and um, I do them all in one big batch so if, if you ask me what I talked about if, for example AS Monaco asked me what I talked about in uh, I don't know the first the first one of them I could not tell you I could not tell you it, when I'm uploading them, and um, I go through and I think I, I think I, I think I swore in one of the episodes, and I don't like to have swearing in them. And this is literally like four episodes after or something, and I, and I was like, oh, I did four at that time, and I could, and I was like, I can't remember which one I did it in, so I just left it in there, so you didn't want to have to li listen through all the stuff. I mean, you might think that's just lazy on my part, but. But this way, I didn't, I've got other things to do. I didn't want to spend 40 minutes listening um, intently to make to just wait for when I say uh, drop the f bomb. So yeah, hopefully you understand, and it's not too big of a deal. It's probably, I don't think it's too big of a deal if I just occasionally drop it in. I think it was out of frustration. And I think that there was an episode where I ended up redoing, so that possibly was it. So, uh, we're up 6-0. I totally forgot we scored. I was just about to say, oh shit, did we score? But then I was like, oh yeah, we got the intercept. Chase Stanley. I'm trying to think. Oh, jeez. Good stuff, Tolman. Great tackle. Here we go, there's another intercept. I was thinking, with, um... With rugby league life... Free, if that's what they're going to call it. I'd really like to um, get like a reviewer's copy or something if that's possible. I guess I can talk about um, something when Rugby League Live 1 came out. Um, it came out maybe like two days before my birthday and I ended up getting it for my birthday and um, it was a really shitty day. So what I got was, uh, how old was I, 15? I'm trying to think how old I was. It was in 2010, so four years ago. Yeah, I was 15, I think. Yeah, I turned 15. And um, what happened was, is I got this, uh, what are they called? I've got a thing now, and it's, it's not the same as that. Oh, we dropped the ball. Uh, you know, like, to, to play it online with uh, Xbox... It's like it was like a wireless receiver. It was black. There was a white version of it as well, which wasn't as good. 
and I got the black version of it and it worked for a little bit and then I went to go use it in the afternoon because there had been um, well, I used it for like an hour or something and then all of a sudden it stopped working and I was like what the hell and I was so gutted and then there and then um, been blackouts all throughout the day and stuff because it had been, been really windy so all day there was blackouts and I couldn't play I couldn't play the new rugby league game I got I couldn't use the Xbox got lots of Xbox stuff pretty much and so I was gutted about that and then the Bulldogs played and I couldn't watch the game because it was on channel 9 plus there was blackouts so I listened to it on the radio and uh, I think that was Luke Patton's last game and Brick Hall and all that and I remember Luke Patton made a really good tackle right at the death last tackle that like, knocked himself out kind of here we go thought we were going to score there that's why I said here we go yep that's the NS thing to do we're going to put a kick in here I think yeah, so basically it was like a really kind of shitty birthday. It was no one's fault, it's just, it's just the weather. Come on, Hocko. Great tackle. Yeah, so there's not, nothing I could do about it. But, I mean, the, the next few days we were pretty good, got to play it. But at the same time, I had to send back the, the wireless receiver thing. But then I ended up picking up something even better. Um, well, I think it's better. It's this, uh, net, it was a net gear thing. I've still got it now, it's what I use now. Um, many years later, and um, it's this little, this little black device. It's like a little square, um, and it c basically connects. And then you through Ethernet, um, through Ethernet you connect it up. So I prefer it that way because I can use it for multiple things. Like for example, uh, my sister's got her computer in um, her room, and it's on the opposite end of where our wireless router thing is. So, um, she gets pretty shitty reception at, at times, she can't even, like, get it, so if I use my little receiver thing, I can position it in more places than the little antenna thing from the back of her uh, computer, so it's more manoeuvrable, so we can pick up a reception, so it's kind of cool for uh, her, and times when I want to use um, her computer, so I think that's kind of cool. And also, when I go away for stuff, um, I can set up the Xbox. For example, uh, I went and stayed at my nan's, looked after my nan's house in November. I think it was. Yeah, you probably would notice because there wasn't a lot of uploads during that time. My goal, my plan was to actually like make a whole bunch of videos, and I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> and there it was. I need to do another one, but I'm going to try and hold it. Clemmer. I just sneezed, but I muted the mic that time. Oh, that was great play. Just, um, Jamie Lyon didn't come in like I thought he would. Uh, this is a problem. Uh, Reynolds getting tackled on the last. Yeah, so pretty much my plan... I didn't get around to finishing that. My plan was to... Go and make a whole bunch of videos around there. Come home, upload them, have like a month's worth of videos. That was my plan. Um, didn't have that many series. Didn't have online or anything, but that wasn't pro like that wasn't a problem because uh, I did South and career mode. I don't need internet for that. I didn't have FIFA at the time. GTA was out, but so ended up getting like, playing that a lot. And I didn't really play. To be fair, I didn't really play too much Xbox. Um, the Ashes cricket was on, so I watched a lot of that. Not because I really like cricket, but just because I didn't feel like doing anything. I'm one of those people that, um, I get, like, so overwhelmed with things. So, like, when, if I have, I have so many options, I get, like, kind of stressed out because I have too many options and I can't decide and I'm not doing nothing. I'm one of those sort of people, which, um, not the greatest. Hard to admit, but it is what it is. Here you go. I was going to try and kick back for the dude who's on the left. Oh, thank God, Eastwood. Got back and got it. Dummy there by Hocko. Didn't really work. I think that's Lafayette back there, but we're going to go to Reynolds. Why the hell did Morris come in? Hopefully we can catch him here. 
We're going to catch him. Wow, what a chase. What a chase by Jay Moss. It is on Jamie Lyons, so I would expect that. I thought that was going to be a try. Great tackle by Eastwood. Really need to concentrate for this little um, period. Haven't done any uh, subs, but that's not a problem. Who cares? Oh, wait, how about Clemens starting? Maybe I did. I really don't want to get under the high ball because it never works out well for me. Yep, Clemens. So maybe it, j it ends with however the team was when I finished the last game by the looks of things because that's where Clem was. Didn't catch on to it at the time, but I have now. Who do we take off? We'll take off uh, Graham for just a little bit. And Graham's not off. Wow. All that work and we throw another intercept. Luckily, Morris catches him again. Really good Morris on this game. It's kind of weird because the left-hand side is usually the side I go to um, on this game. Which is where Morris is. That's poor defending. Um, I did the up high tackle, or should have went down low, but whatever. Hopefully, it, hopefully, um, it's too little, too late for Manly. <laughs> Kieran Foran taking the goal kick, and he misses. Oh, he got it. Could have sworn he missed. Uh, yeah. So we don't want to give away any line breaks or anything like that, because that could, uh, that would mean trouble for us. I would think. Standing at the goalpost. And doing a little step there. He was like standing literally like through the goalpost. Tackle for Nukin. So yeah, I was talking about um all the rugby league life two stuff. Um I guess I'll try and finish it off. So I got talking about I got it for my birthday and I couldn't really do it. So in saying that, um there was like a competition you can enter for rugby league life two and um it was that you can go play like a beta version or a test version of it. You go test the game out. And um, it was on my birthday this time. So I was like, oh, perfect. You had to enter in like a letter or something. So I was like, oh, I'll go for the sob story. And it worked. And it got picked, but I couldn't go to it. Because it was on a school day. And we had to be in Sydney. And I wasn't allowed to day off school. And they thought year 11 was... Or well, year 10 was too important or something. I tended to disagree, but whatever. It's a, what's done is done. And then... The people ended up getting a free copy of it, and I was like, well, fuck, I'll, oh, shit, I saw but whatever, I was like, I was supposed to be there, maybe I can score a copy of it, but no, that didn't work out, so I was trying to negotiate with um, Tribly or whatever, but it didn't work, not to worry, that's all I wanted to say, Chase Stanley, picking up man of the match, I apologise for swearing, hopefully he didn't pick it up, but I, I did, I admit it. Kind of funny considering I was talking about cursing in the video before and then I went and did it in this episode. Kind of just happened naturally. I guess the more I feel comfortable, the more I do it. Uh, but whatever. So here we take on. We take on Dragons next round 15th, which is about where I expected them to be in real life, to be honest. They're not there at the moment, but we have to wait and see. But that's coming to the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for more, which I hope you do. And uh, we'll see you for the next episode, which is episode 7, or round 7, whatever. See you then. Bye.